Come on. There we go. Oh, hey guys, how are we all doing? It's another training update uh, from last week's training. Uh, I try to keep this video a little bit shorter than what the other ones have been, uh, simply just because obviously things are getting a little bit repetitive uh, as the weeks go on. Uh, I've got one more week of this style of block training uh, before it changes again as we move into some uh, later on uh, later parts of the program. Uh, well, in fact, as, as far as kind of YouTube is concerned, I'll, I'll have two more weeks. Uh, I'm on my third week now as far as physical training is going uh, and overall training is, is going really really well uh, I'm feeling the four days a week benching that this program is providing um, although there's not a lot of kind of ben, uh, really tricep accessories or bench accessories as such it's really just the single type of bench movement that I do four times a week whether it be my block, my pause or whatever touch and go uh, really bringing my bench on um, it's funny to say that I'm actually feeling like the lockout position of my bench press is now stronger or feeling better anyway than coming off my chest which is notoriously being the lockout has been my weak point so that's good uh, everything else is coming along quite well uh, I was really tired this week struggled to sleep pretty much every single day must have only had really had about four maybe probably four and a half hours at most each night uh, just through various different things, um, trying to get on top of that just so that it makes life a little bit easier because uh, sleeping that much and trying to train like this just isn't working and it just won't work long term, it might work for like maybe a week or two but then it'll just be a crash and burn so I'm trying to avoid that and try to get more sleep each day. Um, we're actually, uh, other than that, we're going quite well, uh, squats going well this week anyway, got a bit of an issue in my current training but I think that I'll be able to overcome that quite quickly, um, but I'll talk about that next week anyway. Uh, deadlifts going well, uh, still quite on the lighter side of weights, I'm not really having to switch to mixed grip, I'm still able to kind of cope with everything with my double overhand, uh, which is fine, I'm wrapping the... Um, putting a, a tight wrap around my wrists, so that is maybe causing a false illusion as to where my grip is, but I'd be wearing the wraps in competition anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Um, I was thinking about trying to incorporate hook grip a little bit more in my deadlifts, because on my competition style uh, deadlift on the Tuesday, I find that when I get to the last kind of set, I'm struggling to do every rep with the double overhand and I'm moving to, to mix grip, like maybe midway through the, the set and it's, it is causing me to notice how much I don't like to mix grip. I prefer having a double overhand style grip, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to try and bring in hook grip so that it feels a little bit better because it just feels like the bar's a lot closer to me and I know it is because the way that your arms are positioned on the bar and the way they're facing with the mix grip. So I'm going to try and bring in hook grip, uh, figure out really how to do it properly. But what I'll do is, rather than talking about that now, I will catch up with that later on next week. I'll go into a little bit more detail about what I'm going to be doing with hook grip. Hook grip. So catch you all next one, guys.